Alone, we can do little. Together, we can do great things. Welcome to The Intellects. My name is Daniel Adaja. On Intellects today, we are taking you through the Asian city in Abelkuta, Ogun State. And we're going to be looking at Adire, Tai and I. Welcome to The Intellects. Uh, I'm Chief Adeleye Oluwatosin, the Autumn Baba Lodger of Adire Asher Kampala International Market. Adire is most heritage of Abekota because it's an ancient work as also a craft form that we inherit from our forefathers and our mothers in Ogun State here, Abekota. I decided to show Adire business as a most heritage that we inherit from our forefathers and our mothers because it's the work we do as a handwork in Abekota here. That's why I decided to make another dimension or method in Nadire to more popular than it is. Well, a little challenge that I can say we are facing about Adire business due to our raw material that we are using, Guinea Brocade, that is an export in our dye, is also an exported dye. Custom sometimes give us some challenges because at times they say a guinea that you are using is contraband or whatever. There is no made in Nigerian fabric except the Ankara we are using. We also use Ankara to produce Adire, but mostly in a big Adire because we have different variety of guinea brocade. That's why we choose guinea brocade than using uh, Ankara because Ankara, we have small, uh, small quality in Ankara. That's why we prefer to use Guinea than Ankara. Well, I can advise our young people that want to go to in, into this business that not every people that will be looking for white collar job. We try to do something to be self-employed because nowadays, Due to federal government or whatever, they believe about creativity is vocational. And I can advise my young colleagues that to find something to do, address is more easily to do. And when you do it, you can make a lot of profit on it. That's why I can plead or advise to them that not roaming about that you are saying, I'm looking for white collar job, office work. You do something, lay your hand on something to gain more. What government can do for us to promote our direct business in Nigeria? Firstly, to help us lift the band on Guinea brocade, which is materials that we are using. Secondly, to help us publicize or exporting, or to create awareness to more people that our direct is our own made clothes that is basically important in Nigeria. I believe that all the countries, even our Nigerian, the country, not only Nigeria, the countries, everybody are aware of Adire to help us more promoting it, to be more lively. To go into Adire business, firstly, you need to know in and out of Adire, which is to learn how to make it produce that direct so it can easy for you to sell it and some people believe that if they have a lot of cash they can go into the business and it's very easy because in address section we have the red department on it we have uh, firstly we have some department that based on time which is dd and we have some department that based on dying really and we also have some department based on batiks that's candle wax. And we have the finishing department, which is beating. Because we are making a large quantity production, which is mass production. We can't be ironing them. We used to beat them, so to be fame and be more presentable. It's a great chance and an opportunity for youth to be out of property if they have a focus and believe that they can lay their hand 
for doing something which is hand work, self employed The adre is always a cool business that people are doing. I believe before we believe that is for our old people, but now we youth are into it. I'm also a graduate, study fine and apply art. Later I decided to base on adre, which is textile. That's what I use for living. This is the pure cutting we are using. They are also using them for Ankara. This is what we are using. This complete five years of fabric. It's a guinea per grade. It's five years. We already tied and soak into dye to make it adire. This is already adire. This is our finishing product here. After we left the production center, this is the exhibiting shop that we used to sell for people in Osis and Riti. Four years ago, which Bank of Industry BOI came here to grant us loan. But later on, the interest of the loan was too outrageous to pay back. Because some are paying it within two years, three years, and some are still paying the loan back, the interest up to now. Well, I'm using this medium, an opportunity to, to plead to our federal government if they can reduce the interest on the loan so it can be useful for the young people and the market women and men to use the loan to increase their business and this can help us as an happy hand for the producer also to get the loan so we can use the loan to do something tangible in our production. Thank you so much for being part of today's episode of Intellect, Youth with a Nation at Hearts. My name is Daniel Adadja. Remember, for more information, you can log on to our website, www.theintellect.com.ng. And a special thanks to our guests for hosting us here at the Ashero Adire Kampala International Market here in the city of Abelkuta, Ogun State. Bye from us now. Join us again for another interesting episode. Good day everybody, welcome to another amazing segment of The Intellect. My name is Onwe Busimili and Chidima. Today we'll be talking about standardization and marketability. To give you a brief down, a breakdown and a summary, I have two people in the studio today. I would allow them to introduce themselves like I always do. So what's your name? My name is Maka Mugulu. And Maka? I'm Femi Ojo. Femi Ojo. We watched an interview that was streamlined to the textile industry at the USB particular. So how do you think that um, marketability and standardization can come to play in this particular sector? Okay, it's not necessarily something better. Um, the produce is actually perfect one. Okay. And, um, but like you said, like Maka said earlier, it talks about branding. Branding? Branding, branding actually do, do the finish, the, actually do everything. Everything. So when you actually have branding to what they have right now, Yes. And they are they actually are trademarked to what they have right now. It makes a difference. It makes a difference. So there's always a difference between the natural and the, 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 the 3D printer being used in making all of these things. So so what is the difference between them, between the Adire um Abekuta um guys with the difference with, with guys using the 3D printer for instance is uh, uh is originality. Originality. That's it. Okay. Ghana must go work with uh, the work with the fashion workways of uh, of Iki. Wow, that's so cool. thousands of dollars. That's Ghana must, Ghana go, must go. go. Smaller version. That's it. Yes. So why can't we do that for Adire? For Adire. Okay. So and to add more to it, um, um, there will be change in price. You know. Change in price. Um, when 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 they do the naturals, it's not going to be as expensive as using a, a printer. A printer. To, or a machine. To make sure, to make sure this works. And of course, it, depends, it, it could be more expensive depending it, on what it, Definitely, that's okay, no problem. For, uh, that's, I, I guess, I guess, with you. yes. I guess they will be looking at nearest to market, to uh, resources and all of that. It helps to reduce price in making in making all of these things. You know, and for 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 the. Um, for the ones using the printer, there, there may be no nearest to market because you know they don't really have the natural natural ingredients to make sure they have yes. these things. You know, they are, they are ingredients to make sure they have these things. And don't forget that yeah, the chief uh, actually mentioned in his interview that okay, we can actually use Ankara. Ankara fabrics are made in Africa. We are the one mixed in Africa. But so we don't have Guinea made uh, fabric from Guinea made in Nigeria. I think that's what he was trying to say as well. Yeah, one of probably one of your challenge, yeah, right? So customs, yeah, one of those challenges actually they actually so if face. If we can get if we can get that going for them, it's possible. It's possible. 
Okay. I'm still trying to bring down all of this to the main topic that's marketer, um, marketing and standardization marker. Okay, uh, for instance, the shoe I'm wearing okay. is made here. Made here in Nigeria locally. Made in Nigeria locally. Yeah. How long have you been using it? I've been using it for over a year. Wow, that's. that's yeah, that's the durability true. is there. Okay. okay, so just for you trying, try um, one. If it doesn't work for you, try another one. Try another well, one. Because one didn't work for you, you say, yes. ah, Nigerian product. No, no, that's okay. not the way it works. So you have to keep trying, especially when you're a patriot. You have to keep trying. Okay. Then another thing is, when you actually try it, you see that it's not as bad as the image, image of Nigerian goods. Nigerian goods are actually very reliable. Very reliable. A lot of people export without your knowledge. Yeah. You go abroad, uh, abroad to the parties abroad, and you are seeing uh, Nigerian dresses. A lot of those dresses are made here in Nigeria. Nigerian. My local tailors who are not even that popular. But I think, I think something, so something we, um, a major problem is that we don't have fine finishing touch. That's it, you're right. We don't have fine finishing touch. You're right. I think we do but some, I do yes, it some don't have. But I would say okay. we do not. I would say we do not. Okay. Okay. But money. I would not agree to the fact that um, we do. I would say we do not. I, I think that's one of those challenges um, uh, SMEs, um, startups are actually having. You know. okay. and that's the way you go about it. I, I could mention one or two businesses actually you know, in Nigeria where um, the, the logo is actually brought in from um, Italy. Yeah. So, so, so when the logo is brings, uh, you bring the logo from Italy, and, logo uh, and from the material Italy. is actually yeah, made there. You can get somebody local to do your logo. Yes. Yes. It, it, it or even less than. Even less than. Now, 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 now. What, what we need to change is the mindset. It is not the, uh, it is not the only the populace that's going to do that. The government needs to come into play to change the mindsets of its people. Obviously. And that, you know, we actually, you know, at, at the background, at the backstage, we're actually talking about, we, we, we spoke about the African free trade zone. Yes. A lot's been said about all of these things. It uh, goes line. It, we, we, have a, we have a role to play. Africa. The government have a role to play. We do have a role to play. I have a role to play to change my mindset. When you were speaking, you made mention of culture. Yeah. Culture can be exported. Exported, yes. so that um, that's another part I don't think we're looking into. Like I think we are not paying attention as a whole to the culture. Like, do you think culture can influence um, economic growth for one? And do you think like what are the limitations to how culture can be export uh, exported? Okay, let's use a uh, social media for instance. Now, you have a lot of uh, Africans commenting recently that they enjoy Nigerians. So they come to Nigerians that just have laughs. We are ranked fifth happiest nation in Africa for some reason. I don't know why, but we are. <laughs> so I think they see our, our, they love our sarcasm. Our sarcasm on Twitter is amazing. Oh my Twitter, God. Twitter can be so entertaining. Honestly. So we do this, we have a throwback Thursday, where you see pictures of people from like when they were five, six, seven, eight. Why can't we have Adire Day? Maybe once a month, do Adire Day. New Adire every Friday, maybe last Friday of the month. Why not? Okay. And to add on to social what media, just is that what you know, mean? Yeah. Maybe it, people wear the right, take pictures and something like an awareness stuff. So, okay. to add more to what he just said about Adjure Day, you just came to my mind that we could come up with Adjure Day. I, I, I would tell you that uh, a lot of people, um, parts of the continent, other parts of the continent, they are interested in our culture. And, um, you know, I've met with a lot of white guys and um, they will tell you they can speak Yoruba. I've met them, they can speak Hausas and all of that. So they're act actually interested. We Actually inviting them over as a, as a venture capitalist does more effect positively to the business. Okay. So, you know, in, like when you have a GRD, you're bringing them on board. They are interested in what you produce and you're bringing them on board to come see what you're doing, okay. to come see your culture, to come, to come actually see from the taste, from where it's been produced. You know, it goes a long way for these yeah. guys. So, and they can actually push it over and yeah. that's your state. So it, it increases the economy, IGP, yeah. you know, the IGR rather, internal um, generated revenue. So it actually increases that. Okay. Um, I was speaking to someone who makes Adiwe. And I was asking her the journey so far, how tough has it been and all. And she said it's challenging, really challenging, because Adira is marketable. That was one thing she said. Secondly, she said that it's difficult to produce it in large quantities because there are no machines to produce this. So it got me thinking that it could be possible because I'm sure we have other textiles that are being manufactured in um, in companies in um, 
in companies that already have machines that do the printing and everything. So do you think it's important for us to, to yes, to modernize it, have machines that will be able to produce large sum? Because the more we have, the more it's going to be easier Maybe for... price drop. Exactly. Price will drop. Um, would have more to export. And would do you think this would even make it more marketable, Femi? Okay, um, I would say we can underestimate that. You know, um, bringing the um, technology into play, okay. it can never be underestimated. As of um, next year, 2020, um, fourth industrial revolution is actually at our face, as our faces, and um, it's here to stay. So we don't have a choice than to bring in technology into play. But you know, on on, on another side. Uh, we want to. We want to leave. I talked. I, I actually talked about originality. On the other side, you know, we'll be leaving what is called originality. I feel it's up to the, it's up the business themselves. They need to come together and agree. Are we going to market? Are we gonna, in our branding campaigns? Are we going to market the authenticity of the original, all the originality, the handmade, the culture, all of that? Or are we going to go for profit? You know, it's, profit. it's actually very beautiful when you when you when you go there and uh, see them how they make it with their hands, it's beautiful. It's, it's a sign, it's a belief for them. Some of them, it's actually believe. Mm -hmm. But definitely, yeah, yeah, like I, I said, it, like I said, okay, yes. but like I said, we can't underestimate the effect of technology. The because when technology. we bring technology on board, okay. more can be produced. Okay. It might now be expensive. Okay. And we can actually bring a lot of guys on board too. We will have, a, a, we, we will bring a lot of young people on board, it actually creates a lot of job opportunities and it should be more competitive. So, so yeah, that's just it. So we'll be going for a short break and in this short break, we'll be watching an interview with an expert in the industry. Please stay tuned. Don't forget you're watching the Intellect Suits with the Nation at Heart. My name is Dele. Dele Aimebo, I'm Lee consultant of 3 Team Pest Trade Academy. I'm talking about marketability and standard of products. One thing, Anybody going into business that will involve um, a product, manufacture of a product, should understand is the fact that the people are going to first see the product before they see the content. So the implication of that is standard should not just be about the quality of the content because sometimes what some people do is they have good quality in terms of content, but the, the packaging are not good enough. So in talking about standard, I will not just talk about the quality of the content, I will also talk about the quality of the container. Now, if the content is good and the container is bad, that means I won't even get to buy in the first place. That means I won't get to know how good the content is because I'm already put up by the container. So I am of the opinion that the standard should not just be about what is inside, but also about the packaging. But let's talk about what is inside. So if it's food, rather, you will be looking at NAMDA for food and drug. And because of the promotion of government for agri, a lot of people have to use NAVDAC because many people end up doing food-related products. Of course, if it's non-food product, then I will need SON, that's the Standard Organization of Nigeria. I would strongly recommend that people take quality standard very seriously. Now, I am on the trade side, import-export. If I'm talking about this from the export perspective now, in fact, you really will not be able to do much in the export market if you have no quality standard. So my opinion is, if you are going to begin to produce anything as a young entrepreneur, don't think of the fact that you want to just sell in Nigeria. What tells you that someone will not buy that product and take it abroad? And then you begin to get call from abroad that they are interested in your product, not because you are thinking of export, but because someone just purchased your product and took it abroad. That means that I'm going to increase the chance of sales of my product. Now, if the product is not just because another problem is that some, for some people, the product is well packaged, but the content is rubbish. So if my content, if the product is well packaged and the content is rubbish, that's another challenge. That means I will buy it initially because it's well packaged, but at the end of the day, I will be very disappointed along the line because at the end of the day, I will find out that the quality, the content rather, is bad. That means you are not going to enjoy repeat business from me. So whichever way you look at it, if my quality content is of good quality and the container is of good quality, I'm at an advantage. Now. I might have an issue at the beginning, and the issue is maybe my price now is higher because I've incurred more cost to ensure I have a good quality product, and I've incurred more cost to ensure that I have a good, uh, a better packaging. I might have issue with pricing at the beginning, but if people begin to buy the product and they can see the quality 
I'll begin to attract my own kind of customer. And sometimes also it's very important that you begin to, you begin to look at uh, who do you want to target as an individual. And that also influences the way you are designing your product. So at the end of the day, you attract the right market and you're able to keep the customer. Thank you very much. Welcome back, guys. I'm sure we enjoyed that interview with the experts in the industry. When we talk about marketability and standardization, it is extremely wide, extremely wide. So how do you think that uh, locally produced items could actually be put first? I want you to talk about it as from how the government can actually help. And I want you to talk about it for me, how we can help as individuals. I think the way I think government can come in is if they're yeah. going, if they're going the route of mass production. Mass, mass production. production. Maybe, uh, not as the taxes could go down for them. Okay. Uh, maybe no company income tax for for a while, maybe two, three years. Yeah. While, okay. they, while they set up and while they they get a grip of the market. Okay. Okay. Um, for individuals, um, for Nigerians, we need to increase our our trust, our trust level in um Nigerian made products. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, as a matter of fact, if we increase our trust, then then the Nigeria we're looking for is near. Okay, I've learned so much, and I'm very sure we all have learned so much today. So from us here at the studio, is still the intellect, the youth with the nation at heart. Do enjoy the rest of your day, and see you next time. Hello, welcome to Business Crest. My name is God Queen Anike, and as you all know, I'm here to serve you with all the positivity that you need to move forward and be a better person in life. Well, I have something for you today, and I want you to think about it. Imagine at 60, you've not achieved anything in life. No money, nothing. You've not achieved anything. You have an idea. You keep pushing it to people. You keep pitching it to people. You keep telling them, hey, this is my idea. Please help me. But nobody wants to support you. Everybody is just saying, mm, no, please, I can't. I don't want or oh, that. But you, you know that this recipe is the bomb, is the best. All these people just need to take their time to, to listen, probably invest in it, but nobody. But you were persistent. You were consistent. You kept pushing. And one day, boom, you're blown. Even after your death, there is a company named after you. And up to this very moment, people go to every eatery in the whole world to eat from Kentucky Fried Chicken, the popular KFC. Now, what do you think from that? Or what do you derive from this? I'm here to tell you again that you have to be consistent. You have to keep pushing and move ahead because leaders are not born. No. They are made. I'll be here to encourage you every time because it's money. We all have to make it. Thank you for coming today and have a great time ahead. Don't forget to visit our website and register for the export stamp before it ends though. And for more information, inquiries, or any information you need to know about us, please visit all our social media websites. Thank you so much. I love you and I'll keep encouraging and pushing you all.